The 12 disciples were chosen. They were chosen by God. They were chosen by God. Right? They were chosen by God. And they walked around with Jesus for three and a half years without the Holy Ghost. Hello? They were, con they were considered his, you know, his disciples before they even received the Holy Spirit. But they had a commitment to follow him. They made a commitment to follow Christ, even without the spirit. They followed Christ. They honored him. They reverenced him. They reverenced him. Glory to God. They adored him. They gave him adoration. They followed after him. Now, during that time, because we, we got to reconcile scripture here. During that time, Jesus gave them power to go out and cast out devils, heal the sick, hallelujah, before they ever received the Holy Spirit. They were doing, hallelujah, <laughs> they were doing things that should not have been done until you got saved. Come on, come on now, that, that's just real, praise the Lord. And I don't think we need to overlook that. We don't, we don't need that. We don't, we don't, we don't need to overlook that when you, cause when you got saved, you were doing things, glory to God, that <laughs> saved people need to do. Right. Right. You, you were, you were giving yourself over to the message that you were hearing. Just like the disciples were, they were giving themselves over to the message that their master was teaching. Are y'all working with me? Praise the Lord. They were giving themselves over to that message. And that's what you were doing. You were giving yourself over to that message. And because you did that, God honored you by giving you his spirit. Glory to God. You want to say something? Come on. Yes. Um, just as you said that, I, I was just remembering, you know, in my seeking, when I really started seeking, because persons have to, they have to be really real with themselves. Uh -huh. And when I came to that place of being real to say to myself, <laughs> I really wasn't seeking, that's when I was brought to a place to start seeking him really. And what happened when I really started to search for God, when I really started to cry out for God in my heart, really seeking for him, as we use the term, actively seeking, I started to do things just like the disciples, as though I was a Christian. And even, even in doing that, persons will would look at me and ask if I was a Christian. And this was not because I was going to church. Because what happened was because my heart came to the place I really desired to know God, God, hallelujah, Jesus, was allowing me to experience his power. So I was able to, to, to forgive something that I couldn't do. I was able to love. And when I got a taste of that, I wanted it. I wanted more. I wanted that freedom. I wanted that freeness to love. And because my heart reached to that place, I really seeking and searching for God, I got a taste of it. And that was actually the thing that pushed me into desiring God even more. And something that, because person can't identify, can't just identify the fact that they go to church means that they're seeking. Because these testimony that the persons, that people were having was not due to because I was going to church, but just my response. They will say, why you stop doing this? You know, why you stop saying that? And my response wasn't just coming out of what I learned, but it was something coming up. I, it, my response was coming out of a desire that I really wanted to do. I really wanted to please God. And that made it more convincing. And so persons were, some persons were confused when I actually told them, this is the day I got saved. They were like, but I thought you were already saved. And I was like, no, I wasn't saved. But the reason why they got confused a little was because I was doing those things that um, seemed as though I was saved because my heart was setting into the, the right motion to get the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's also an angle um, person has to look on. You know, when you really 
reaching the place of reaching God, you'll start to do things that, that, that Christians actually do. I'm talking about holy Christian. You will start to do it. But one thing you can do is be complacent there and relax. You have to go further. And that's what I did. And, and that's what um, brings the Holy Ghost um, in my life as well. And I think that the reason that you came to the conclusion you had to go further because you knew that there was just so much you could stop doing. But right. you, you needed power. You needed that power right. in your life, that power so, so that what you, the righteousness that you were doing would be natural and, and not by willpower. Glory to God. Right. And, you know, I had another situation. I had a situation wherein uh, Annette Jones, passed another Another pastor, Pastor Annette Jones, glory to God, she, she came into the church. She and Charlene came at about the same time. Now, Charlene received the Holy Spirit the first night she walked through the door. Annette didn't do that. Amen. But, but when she came in, I took her under my wing, actually took her into my home. And she, she was working at the church, working at the church in administration. Glory to God. Every day she was on payroll working at the church every day, living in my home, going to every church service, every church service, glory to God, and, and doing all that she knew, amen. She was, tr she was trying, she, she realized that Charlene and all of us had something that she did not have, and she wanted it. And so she began to, to, to lay aside those things that she was doing in the streets. She came out of the streets, she was no longer interested in the streets. She went to every church service, every discipleship service, everything that we were doing, she was there. Glory to God. And, she, and, and her heart was torn toward God. But now she was working in administration. She was working in administration every day. And one Sunday morning, I was preaching. Glory to God. I was preaching. And, and, and glory to God, the, uh, the, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And, and I, I called her out, glory to God, laid hands on her, and the Holy Spirit just filled her up. Glory to God. She just got full of the Holy Spirit that Sunday morning. But she had been working for the church for like two years. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, what I'm saying, I, I am not an advocate of defiling the platforms of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not, I'm not an advocate of that. I think anybody knows me knows that I'm not an advocate of that. Glory to God. Especially when those who are leading in leadership, leadership now, glory to God, leadership, glory to God, because now I, I, can I tell the person, okay, can I tell someone, hey man, you cannot praise the Lord because you're not saved. Do I have the right to withhold that praise from God? Glory to God, because now, because, because now there are people that are in the congregation. This is what I'm saying here. There are people that are in the congregation that are not saved, but they begin to praise God. They begin to praise God in this, in the music. Amen. They begin to sing the same songs. Amen. Unto the Lord. And they prefer, they pre prefer, amen. They prefer gospel songs. They prefer to lift up the name of the, of the Lord in, in song. They prefer that, glory to God. So now, if that, if that be the case, if, if that be the case now, glory to God, what I'm saying, <laughs> glory to God, what I'm saying is that when we talk about leadership, me as a leader, leaders in the pulpit, glory to God, telling people what they ought to do, glory to God, Amen. What they are to do, give, rendering them the word of the Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. That 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 platform, because the scripture told me to get the beam out of my eye before I try to take it out of somebody else's. That's what it says to me. Now, there's some auxiliaries. There's some auxiliaries. Glory to God. If, if I have a, a sister, this, these are things that 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 the, we we got to discover whether we have defined these things as, as um, uh, vessels of servitude that must be, that must have the spirit of God in them, as opposed to leaders, leadership 
that must have the spirit of God in them. Because even at, like Bishop Jones took us to Bishop Jones took us to the, the deacon board. Amen. Stephen and all those deacons, those first deacons. Deacons are supposed to be apt to teach the word of God. We, we study the, 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 the life of a deacon. Glory God. He's very much similar to a pastor. He is a leader in the church. Glory to God. And I know that, that what I'm trying to say is that have we now made, have we made um, everything equal? Have we made, for instance, um, people singing unto the Lord? It, it, now, let me get this right because I don't, because <laughs> glory to God, there's a difference when there, there, there are people that sing, are not saved, but are a blessing. They can bless you in a song. I don't know the life. There's some songs that I listen to. I don't know the life of the people that sing those songs. Amen. I don't know their life. But there's a song, glory to God. There's a couple of songs that I know delivered me. One delivered me from suicide and one delivered me from, from shooting somebody. <laughs> Amen. I'm sitting there, glory to God. Amen. And this lady come at me today. I'm just going to blow her brains out. Praise the Lord. And I'm sitting there waiting on her to come. And all of a sudden, a song came on my computer. And it was one of those computers that you had to put the CD in. You know, you had the CD player and you had to put the CD in. Glory to God. And there was no CD. But this, the, the computer started singing this song. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. You can begin again. That's the name of the song. You can begin again. Glory to God. And that song took that weapon right out of my hand. Just took that weapon. I, I, every word in it was from God. Every word in that song. I don't know the life of that, mm -hmm. that, that, that person. That person may be in fornication, could be in adultery, could be an angel in heaven by now. I don't know. Glory to God. But there was a time when I was going through the worst, the worst, the worst time of my life when I was suicidal. Glory to God. And um, Tremaine Hawkins, mm -hmm. glory to God, be grateful. Mm -hmm. Her son, Be Grateful and Never Alone. Those two songs delivered me from suicide. Praise the Lord. They delivered me from suicide. I don't know these people's lives. They, glory to God. Some of these people were in Baptist churches. Glory to God. May not have even had the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But <clears throat> their music, their music had an effect on me. Praise the Lord. So I'm not advocating. I don't want anyone to think that I am advocating Amen. Sin in the pulpit. That is not what I'm advocating. I'm not advocating sin in the pulpit. But I do because and, and, if, and I stand, I stand to be corrected here. If you can correct me here, I'm willing to be corrected. But I, I believe that if a person comes into our, in, among us and we tell that person like like Bishop Lorna told Kamani, you cannot come out of the club and jump right up in and start dancing. No, we will not allow you to to minister in the dance or minister in the song unless you are actively seeking God. And that means that you're going to have to stop doing the stuff that you're doing. Glory to God and seek after the Lord. Amen. When I made that, when I when I did that, and this is something that, like I said, I'm putting my myself out there and I'm willing to be corrected by the scriptures by God. Amen. When 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 I did that several years later now, a couple of years later now, Kamani gets saved. Lona installs that over there and this man gets saved while dancing in the church. That to me validated because God doesn't do anything. Amen. He doesn't do anything haphazardly. He doesn't do anything that's just coincidental. Amen. This man got saved while he was seeking the Lord, but he was also dancing. Annette was working for the church for two years. She was not a leader, but she was in administration. She was working. Glory to God. And her heart was seeking after God. Glory to God. And and hallelujah. Suddenly one day, glory to God, the Holy Spirit fell upon her. God honored her seeking by giving her the Holy Spirit. If I had not captured her and kept her, kept her uh, 
under my wing, kept her in the church. She probably, she might not have even gotten saved, but I gave her uh, something to do at the church to keep her attention, to hold on to her. Glory to God. Cause the Lord told me to hold on to her. I didn't even know her, but the Lord said, bring her into your house, hold on to her. Glory to God. And I obeyed him. And in doing so, I, I had to give her something to do. Amen. To hold on to her. Now I am saying this, glory to God. I'm saying this. I'm saying that I have seen God save people. Glory to God. Save people that were seeking him. You cannot get saved unless you are seeking the Lord. Amen. But now if you are willing to seek after God, I, I don't feel condemned. I really don't. I don't con feel condemned allowing that person to sing in a choir or to, to be in the dance ministry if they really are seeking after the Lord. So that's just, that's just where I am. Now, like I said, I am open. If you guys can show me where I am wrong, I'm willing to, to hey, glory to God if I'm wrong for that. But, but I need someone to explain to me why God validated that, why he actually filled them, glory to God, while they were in the midst of, of doing uh, uh, their duties, mm -hmm. the, the, the things that we gave them to do in the church. A, a lot of things. And I, I first of all want to say is I, I really uh, thank God for Pastor Kamadi and, yes. and his testimony that mm -hmm. he has uh, and all those that has been uh, saved and, and filled with the Holy Ghost and are serving the Lord. And I fully understand that because I've been in pastoral uh, ministry where I've done the same thing. I have allowed people to uh, serve that was not saved. Uh, you know, I, so I, I understand that. But I also want you to know this. Is this is where I sense the Lord on this. The, the Lord, uh, there's a lot of things we've done in our ministerial walk that were not always done the perfect way. Mm -hmm. And God did not allow that to stand in the way of a hungry soul. Amen. So there's a lot of things that we've done. We can look back and see some things that we were doing 10 years ago that we're not going to do now. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do now because we come into a more perfect knowledge. And so I think that this is where God is bringing, is, is desiring to bring us into a more perfect way because scripture has to be reconciled from the beginning to the end. And so when I see that the pattern that God has taught us, when he told Moses to make all things after the pattern in, in heaven, so I see those patterns coming through and I just see that where we are today, a lot of people because I could talk about something that was, I think, a testimony that I have is where people got saved, God filled them, and they're still serving God. Mm -hmm. The other side of that, though, is I've seen people come into the church mm -hmm. where they came in the church and they saw this person in the church that was not, that, that was not trying to, that they was trying to mimic a life of the righteous. Right. They was trying to emulate the right life of a righteous, and they were singing in the choir. Mm -hmm. And that person, but that the people that came in, I seen some harm done with the people that came in and saw that and said, I just left the club with that person last night. Mm -hmm. Or I just left out of bed with that person. And now they're here in here. So I see those ends right, of it as well. I, I totally and I know you don't agree with nothing amen. like that. I, told, I totally agree. That's why uh, uh, we have watchers in the mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. We have watchers in the church. Amen. Uh, if if you if you notice, uh, Kareem, I'm, I'm sorry, Kamani was saying, Amen, that he had to attend all the discipleship sessions, and and those those youth leaders and and Bishop Lona and the people that were with them, glory to God, they uh they they watch, yeah. and and if they find out that you're just not seeking the Lord, then you know that's a different situation. Star is saying something. She said, if the Lord lead us into these situations and we got saved. Sure sounds like God's will and his plan. Praise the Lord. Stars another one. Her, 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 her um, testimony is very similar to Kamani's testimony. But my secretary, Amy, she has, uh, glory to God, a very, very s similar testimony to Kamani. I, I almost identical. 
to, to his testimony. I would like to pull her in, glory to God, and hear her testimony too. Amen. Because this is, I, I, I believe, I believe that that's why we have watchers in the church. I believe that's why we have under shepherds. Glory to God. Would the scripture say, know those that labor among us? Glory to God. Now, if, if a person is like you said, if you out, you, you still going to the clubs, if you out there, you know, and not, a, not even only that, Bishop, you know, because we have a tendency to look at things like people going to the clubs, drinking, smoking, cussing, you know, and all of that. But what about people that are just mean, just outright mean people that, that, that walk in iniquity, glory to God, and, 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 and serving? Yeah, we should, I, I, we should stop that. Glory to God. I, 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 I see that as more detrimental. That is even more detrimental than, than some of this other stuff, glory to God, because, you know, there are people that are preaching the gospel. They're just mean and hateful. Yeah, and see, that's the, that's the government of the church. That's the, the government. To stop that. See, and what we have done as a government, we have made it easy for that to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're, we, because we have tolerated seeing those things happen in the church, so now we become desensitized to it. So now it's easy to have to have that in church. So right. it's a person can get mad and be right. unruly, mm -hmm. be all kind of di dispositions, but we don't deal with that we, right. because we just let that just go on as if that's not relevant. Right. Whereas we see a person out here sleeping with another man's wife, we think that that's more relevant. Exactly. See, but that's not the that's not the the spectrum of the 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 uh, government of the church. Mm -hmm. The government of the church is to make sure that all things are mm -hmm. done by the express will of God. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. the government of the church. So I see that we there's nothing that we should allow in the house of God that's where I, the way I see the scripture teaching that is not sanctioned by God. And those things that, that the government of the church extends from, the, from, from all the aspects of, of church, because the church is the very bride, the body of Christ. And so inside those operations, it's got to be the unction of the Holy Ghost to, to fulfill what the purpose of the church is. Right. So I'm just seeing that, that that's what I'm trying to look inside of this and say, now, wait a minute. If I am, because I could have a heart and want God, but that doesn't mean I have to not do it from this one. I think the governor could say to me, okay, Bishop Jones, a, a young man, you want to serve the Lord? Come on in and be in church and just keep on and just stay here and hear the word of God because after, if I really want God, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. If I really seeking God, I remember in Kamani's testimony, he said when he really starts seeking God, that, that, so, so that he was implying that there was a time that he really wasn't seeking God in the realness of his seeking. But there came a time that he was really just was forsake it all, ready to just give up everything. And so in that time, he, he had made a decision that this is the day. I believe that when anybody get to a place where they're really seeking God, uh -huh. the God ain't far from them. So it's just those things in their life that they just not haven't really turned the loose yet now. But I, I, I clearly understand this, and I understand that so much has happened in, 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 our, in ministry where we have seen God save people. We see, I know people today that are saved, got saved when, when, when they was uh, not saved, but they were serving in the church. So that's not, that's not my uh, issue at all with that, because it happens and they have the fruit of it. Okay, well, see, I, I think that where the difference, I think the difference um, is in what we, what is the government of the church, mm -hmm. as opposed to that which is not the government. Mm -hmm. See, because I see the government of the church as the, the fivefold ministry. That's, that's the government that God gave us because those, those gifts are instructional. Those gifts are God now instructing the church, amen. And, and when, we, when we walk inside of the teacher's gift, the, the, the prophet's gift, the apostle's gift, the pastor's gift, or the evangelist's gift, those are, those, those are the, that's the government. That's, the, that's what we teach as the government of God. Amen. And I, I just don't see the choir as the government of God. Mm -hmm. I don't see the, the, the dance ministry as the government mm -hmm. of God. 
and 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 I I, I see that these platforms need to be holy. Mm -hmm. Now don't don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. They need to be holy in 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 the, in the sense that glory to God. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Cause I got so many. See, I I I I can't help it. Glory to God. I got so many testimonies. Okay, do we have? The, let's 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 bring in Amy. Praise the Lord. Praise. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can we? Can you just share your testimony with us, please? Okay. <laughs> um, I came into the ministry actually, not really knowing what salvation was, but believing that I already was saved. Mm -hmm. um, if you can understand that. Because um, a church that I had gone to in Pennsylvania, a lady said the sinner's prayer with me over the phone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I started to, to cry and to weep. And um, she said, there, now you're saved, you're saved. Mm -hmm. But when I moved to Florida and was introduced to your ministry, I realized I did not have like the peace that many of you and, and the congregation had. And I realized that I did not deal inside of my situation, circumstances and relationships like you guys did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, mm -hmm. More of your response rather than the reaction. Mm -hmm. And as I stayed inside of the church, you um, wanted me to be on portraits, putting me in a, in a love unit and auxiliary where I could be you know, mentored, discipled, brought into the word, allow it to, to clean me up. And at that time, too, you were preaching hard on salvation, salvation, salvation. For the